How's it going guys? My name is Krasi and welcome back to my FC24 Formations, Tactics, Instructions tutorial series. In today's episode we are going to talk about the world champion favorite formation 4 3 2 1 he used that formation to become a world champion last year also this is currently my favorite formation in fc24 i use it all the time so let's get straight into the best possible tactics if you guys want to buy cheap and reliable fc24 coins make sure to check out the best place on the market u7buy.com to get your coins within 10 minutes and make sure to use crossy for a discount. And guys, I want to make things clear. Before minute one, you can use any formation in the game as long as you manage to hit 33 chemistry out of 33. And then all you have to do is press left stick once, click it, go to custom tactics, and you've got four different game plans that you guys can apply. I have four different game plans. Every single one of my game plans has a different formation. However, I know that. Some of you love using one formation from minute one until minute nine, and that's exactly what we are going to do now. I'm going to give you the best possible tactics and instructions for the 4 3 2 1 formation that you guys can use depending on the result minute 10, minute 15, minute 17, minute 90. I'm going to give you three different game plans, actually even four different game plans that you guys can apply to every single one of the boxes here, okay? And depending on how your matches develop, you guys are going to switch between my different game plans. So let's get started. The first one that I'm going to share with you guys will be regarding the best attack and best defense, the game plan that you have to use from minute one. So first of all, guys, go to formations and we are going to switch the 4, 3, 2, 1. Fixing my after minute one lineup and we are ready to go so let's go to tactics guys press after possession loss eh, 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 it's too early minute one of the game defensive style balance wait i'm gonna i'm gonna make it 45 depth i'm gonna leave it at 50 pure play balanced i don't recommend any of the other pure play styles chance creation forward runs is great but direct passing is better and direct passing is used by all the pros in FIFA 23 now in FC 24 as well. With 50 players in box, 5. 5 is more than enough. This formation is a bit more offensive and you don't want to leave a lot of gaps in defense while defending, so leave it at 5. Corners, 1. Free kicks, 1. Every time when I do formation tactics and instructions video, guys, I tell you that I don't see the point of boosting the corner value to, let's say, 5 or the free kicks value to, let's say, 5. When it's a free kick situation, in 99.99% .99 of the cases, you take a direct free kick. When it's a corner kick situation, in 99.99% .99 of the situations, you select a certain player inside a penalty box, you move him around and you guys try to score headers. Now let's move on to instructions and going to kick things off, LB and RB. With our LB and RB, step back, apply to both of them also guys we are going to apply overlap to both of them no more instructions for our defender line and also right now is the perfect moment to mention how important the d-pad tactics are talking about this one using the 4 3 2 1 narrow formation quick tactic that you guys can select from the d-pad of your controller and make your lb and rb join the attack i know we put step back while attacking but by selecting that tactic you will make them from stay back while attacking, join the attack. You can activate it and deactivate it all the time during your matches. Probably that's the reason the world champion of FIFA 23 actually become a world champion. Because this formation allows you to have even more offensive players in attack. Because when your LB and RB join the attack, they are going to play as wingers. And you've got three players in front positions, two more and probably two more from the midfield are going to join the attack so it's like six seven players in total creating attacks with six seven players guys will most likely end up in scoring one more goal so with that being said let's talk about the midfield we are going to apply cover center to every single one of the midfielders also we are going to apply 
stay back while attacking, apply to two of your, let me repeat it, two of your midfielders, guys, okay? Not three, but two. One of them, the one with a bit more offensive stats. In my case, this is Lorente. He can score goals. He can create attacks. I'm going to leave him at balance, attacking support. And also, I'm going to apply get into the box for cross. It will make Lorente join the attack from time to time and help with the build-up play. Regarding Ansu Fati, get in behind, stay central, stay forward. Talking about the left CF and the right CF. We are going to apply absolutely the same instructions for both of them. Get in behind, stay central and stay forward. The get in behind option let you guys provide a lot of through balls. There is a dedicated deadly through ball tutorial that I uploaded yesterday on my YouTube channel. Go and check it out. That's a fantastic way to create goal scoring chances. Attacking with driven precision through balls in FC24. Go and watch it guys. And last but not least, regarding the striker position, get in behind, stay central and stay forward. With that being said, let's talk about game plan number two. So this is the first one that you should use from minute one. And then we move on to game plan number two. Once again, we go to settings and we put the 4-3-2-1. Narrow formation, we prepare our after minute one lineup. So this one should be used if you guys find it difficult to create attacks. I'm going to use 90% similar instructions and tactics to the previous one, but I'm going to make it slightly more aggressive. And by aggressive, I mean from balanced, I'm going to apply press after possession loss. Don't worry, guys. Press after possession loss is a usable tactic 90 minutes and your players won't run out of stamina, okay? The only tactic that can actually ruin your player's stamina is constant pressure. So, Switching back to press after possession lost depth, I'm going to do 50 with 45. Build a play, balance is the best one. Chance creation, direct passing is once again, in my opinion, the best possible option you guys can use. With 50, players in backs should be five. Corners, once again, one. Free kicks, one. Now, let's talk about the instructions. So, stay back, overlap to both of them. No changes for the center backs. Regarding the midfielder in the middle, guys, cover center step back regarding the left cm and the right cm cover center once again but this time i'm not going to apply step back while attacking okay in the previous game plan i applied step back while attacking to two out of three midfielders this time i'm only going to apply to one of them and also guys I'm going to make my offensive midfielder get into the box for cross and regarding the other one, I'm just gonna leave it at balanced, I'm not going to change anything. Regarding our offensive players, once again, I'm going to apply the same instructions, get in behind, stay forward and stay central to all of my offensive players. So what is the exact difference between this game plan and the previous one, guys? So in the previous one, we had two midfielders step back while attacking in this one we only have one the one in the middle and the left one the right one will join the attack from time to time also guys tactics press after possession loss will make all of your players way more aggressive on the field this is the first game plan that you should use from minute one if everything works don't change it if you score one goal two goals three goals keep using this one guys you don't need to change anything. This one is perfect for you, okay? Keep using this one. However, in the first half, if you guys find it difficult to create chances, if you struggle to pass the ball, if your opponent's tactics are way too aggressive, make sure to counter his aggression with more aggression. The press after possession loss tactic is absolutely incredible. I hit 20 now in foot champions in FC sorry, in FIFA 23, three times using press after possession loss. What exactly happens? I always kick things off with balanced, but sometimes it doesn't work. I find it difficult to beat my opponent, okay, to apply pressure on him. And the moment I switch to press after possession loss, everything changes, guys, because you activate AI. And AI is a massive support in any FIFA edition. So besides these two tactics, we are going to apply two more. One tactic for the last minutes of the game if you guys are losing and one for the last minutes of the game in case you guys are winning by one or two goals and you want to keep your advantage. First of all, guys, let's go all in attack tactics, ultra offensive. 
formation, tactics and instructions. So once again, I'm going to go with the 4, 3, 2, 1. So this time I'm going to select constant pressure. I'm going to boost the depth to 71. Let me guys make it 71. Width, I'm going to leave it at 45. Build a play. I'm going to use fast build a play. Chance creation, direct passing. Plus in box, I'm going to boost this one to 8. Width 50, corners. Okay, this time I'm going to boost this one to 3. And free kicks 3. Also guys, instructions. This time I'm going to apply join the attack to the LB and the RB and overlap apply to both of them. So your LB and RB will join the attack all the time by default. You guys don't need to touch the D-pad quick tactics of your controller. Now, regarding the midfielders, I'm going to apply cover center to all of them. And also guys, I'm going to apply get forward, get forward, get forward to every single one of them. Plus, get into the box for cross, apply to the left CM and the right CM. Regarding the strikers, once again, going to apply absolutely the same instructions like in the previous two game plans. Get in behind, stay central, stay forward, apply to every single one of them. So, this is game plan number three. And I recommend game plan number three in situations when you guys find it extremely difficult to score goals in the last 10, 15, 20 minutes. Those tactics are comebacks tactics and are fully applicable to the 4-3-2-1. I don't know if you guys follow my streams on Twitch, but a lot of people call me the king of the comebacks. So many times individual rivals, I create crazy comebacks in the last 10 minutes. And this is my crazy last 10 minutes formation that I use. And guys, last but not least, we are going to talk about tactics and instructions that you should apply to your players in case you guys want to keep your advantage. So let's go to tactics. I don't recommend using drawback. Balance is the best one. We are going to decrease the weight to, let's say, 35. Depth, I'm going to leave it at 35 as well. Beautiful play, balanced. Chance creation, direct passing once again. With 50 players in box three, three is more than enough. Corners one and free kicks one. Now, instructions time. I'm going to use step back. Step back apply to both of your fullbacks. Also, overlap apply to both of them. No other instructions for the defender line. Regarding your midfielders, cover center, stay back, apply to every single one of them. Cover center, stay back. The same thing applies to your strikers this time. We are going to apply stay central, get in behind plus, come back on defense. Get in behind, stay central, come back on defense. The same thing applies to your striker as well. Get in behind, stay central and come back on defense. By using these instructions, you guys will make sure that while defending, every single one of your players will be in your own field doing his best to take the ball from the opponent and this is, in my opinion, the best game plan you guys can use with the 4-3-2-1 formation in the last 15 minutes if you guys want to keep your one goal or two goals advantage. So let's recap. 4-3-2-1. This one for the best defense, best attack should be used from minute one. Use this one. If you guys destroy your opponents, don't change it. Keep using this one. This is the best one, okay? But if you guys find it difficult to create chances, if your passes get intercepted all the time from the opponent, if his players are way too aggressive on the field and you find it difficult to pass the ball and create goal scoring chances, no problem switch to press after possession loss. You will make your players a bit more aggressive and you guys will definitely make a difference on the field. And now guys, in the final 15-20 minutes, if you guys still cannot score goals, if it's 1-0 down, 2-0 down, all in tactics. Switch to the 4-3-2-1 with constant pressure in the last 15, maximum 20 minutes, guys. And only use these tactics until you guys score the equalizing goal. Afterwards, switch back to the 4-3-2-1 balance or press after possession loss. And last but not least, 4-3-2-1 in case in the last 15 minutes, you want to keep your advantage. You don't want to concede a goal. You want to win the game. It's a close game. One goal difference or two goals difference. So you've got four different game plans depending on how your games develop. The 4-3-2-1 is currently my favorite formation to use in FC24. 
I use it every single day in so many matches, guys. So make sure to give it a go yourself. You guys won't regret it. The formation is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for watching. If we manage to go over 500 likes for the daily tips and tricks videos, that will be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, turn on your notifications to stay updated on my daily tutorial videos and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.